Pisces, welcome to Votre Voyage Tarot. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Pisces, it's a pleasure to have you. Let's find out here what's going on with you and the special person in the month of March. Pisces, what are we thinking? This is a mirror reading. What are you thinking? What are they thinking? What are you feeling? What's in their heart space? What can you find yourself uh, doing here in the month of March in regards to this connection? And what can you find them here taking action on in regards to this uh, relationship, this connection that they have here with you? This is for anyone that you find yourself thinking about, involved with here in the month of March. Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As always, I want to thank everyone that has already subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you, Pisces. Thank you. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is for the month of March, Pisces. Ah! <laughs> Cards wanted to get away from me. Let's see. Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what's going on here. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of March. This is for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising in love. What are we thinking? What's going on here? Let's find out, Pisces. Let's get started with you. What are your thoughts, Pisces? We have the Ace of Swords. Mental clarity here, truth. You might have uh, gotten word here about something. Seeing things differently, having clarity on a situation, on a person. Also wanting to take action here. Being decisive. Let's see. Let's take a look at what this other person here is thinking. They have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles talks about uh, security, stability here in their thoughts. This person could be focused here on uh, themselves, on family, on uh, accumulating here, right? Their wealth, their security. Let's see how this unfolds. Pisces. Let's take a look at your heart space. You have the king, the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here in your heart space. You could be involved here with an earth sign. Or this is you here, remaining very calm and collected in your feelings. Not letting anything overwhelm you. Staying grounded here. Despite having this uh, Ace of Swords, right? Despite having this Ace of Swords here in your thoughts, I feel that for many of you, you've learned something here. Ace of Swords. Perhaps shocking, unexpected. An aha moment, perhaps. Let's take a look at this other person here. This other person's heart space. We have the, the hair font here. Taurus energy here. Also very strong here in their heart space perhaps wanting a relationship here sitting in their truth understanding their emotions and how they feel the hair font finding a deep, deeper meaning here perhaps in this connection this relationship in their feelings towards you let's see what this is we have the four of cups the Four of Cups talks about uh, emotionally burnt out here. Being emotionally burnt out. Also feeling, uh, this could be in regards to a rejected offer here. Perhaps in the past, we'll see how this unfolds. We'll be clarifying all of these cards here in a minute for you, Pisces. Let's take a look at what you can expect to unfold here. In the near future. Based on what's going on here, Pisces. We have the Knight of Pentacles, heavy pentacle energy here. Moving slow and steady. Slow and steady here. Not wanting to take any risks, wanting to take things slow. Also, practical offer here. 
maturing, taking things seriously. Knight of Pentacles. Let's see what this other person can find themselves doing here in the month of March. We have the, the Hangman. This is Pisces energy as well. Feeling stuck here, unable to move. Also, shocking. Seeing things from a different perspective as well. It seems as though you might have the shocking revelation here first. With the Ace of Swords. You experience it first here it seems. Ace of Swords. And then this person here later on. In the month of March. They're the ones here that uh, are going to be seeing things differently. <clears throat> Both of you. You have the King of Pentacles in your heart space. They have the Hierophant. Very serious energy here. Commitment, material, being sure and stable in your feelings, being trustworthy as well, dependable. Let's clarify this uh, this Knight of Pentacles here for you. We have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups talks about walking away here. Walking away. For many of you, uh, this could be someone returning here. Someone returning. Someone that walked away returns here. But cautiously. Moving very slowly still. And uh, it cost them a lot. Cost them a lot to come back here. Because uh, the Knight of Pentacles doesn't like to take any risks. They're always worried about what's going to happen. They have to overcome a lot of fears here. This Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups. We have the Queen of Wands. This is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Also, having the courage, right? The Queen of Pentacles is a very decisive person. Very decisive individual here who knows what they want and they're not afraid to get it. They trust in themselves. They have confidence in themselves and their ability here to work things out. After having left perhaps here uh, Eight of Cups. Let's clarify this, um, this hangman here with this other person. Also energies can be reversed but uh, for the majority of you this is what is happening. Let's clarify this uh, hangman here. We have the Three of Wands. So the Three of Wands talks about, uh, this is uh, a waiting here, a waiting as well, a waiting. Taking action here as well, being courageous. So it's almost as if this person here could be shocked at uh, the actions that someone takes. Perhaps even being shocked that uh, this person actually had the courage to do something, right? And being shocked, like, well, I wasn't expecting you to come back, perhaps. On this side, there's this walking away energy here. The Knight of Pentacles is uh, a person who solves problems here, works things out, makes things right, who is serious and committed here long term to uh, accomplishing something. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, or this is um, a person here taking action and doing something. Let's clarify uh, this, uh, this King of Pentacles here in your heart space, Pisces. We have the Nine of, uh, the nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords talks about, um, it talks about thinking about something over and over again, not getting over something, also not wanting to confront reality, see things for what they are. A lot of uh, conflict here. Conflict here between what is and what is not. What happened, what, what happened, what didn't happen, what is reality. And 
and uh, that that conflict there of not wanting to accept things for what they really are, accepting reality is what causes all of this stress here. So this is in your heart space here, conflicted here in your emotions, not wanting to accept something. Not wanting to accept. Nine of Swords. Having to confront a painful truth as well about a Taurus Virgo Capricorn perhaps or a relationship here a commitment the king of pentacles let's clarify this hair font for this other person they have the hair font in their heart space we have the four of wands so relationship here we have the hair font and we have the four of wands this person is thinking about a relationship here A serious commitment. Let's clarify this Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords here doing in uh, Pisces mental space? We have the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles talks about uh, working things out here with someone. Working things out, asking for help. Having everything that you need to make something work to manifest something here, having the skill, having the idea here. You have the Ace of uh, ace of, uh, of Swords. Whatever it is that you're thinking about, it's like you have the perfect plan here, Ace of Swords. You have a new idea here on how to uh, overcome here something, how to accomplish something here with the Three of Swords. What is this Ten of Pentacles? Also, the Three of Pentacles can represent uh, a third person here. For those of you that uh, are experiencing some sort of uh, painful truth here in the month of March, there, for some of you, there could be here, there is a third person. For others of you, I feel like there is a person here that is going to be returning and, uh, well, you're not expecting them to come back. Let's clarify this Ten of uh, Pentacles here in their thoughts. We have the Ten of Cups. So this other person here, emotionally fulfilled and stable here, stable. For those of you that are thinking about working things out with someone, I feel that this person is going to be ready to do that here and happy, happy to do that as well. Let's see what uh, you can expect here to unfold. What can you expect to unfold here? Based on what is going on now, Pisces, what can you expect to unfold based on the current energy? We have the Six of Swords. Six of Swords talks about um, a return, someone returning here. Someone temporary, temporarily leaves here with the Six of Swords and search for, they go and search for greener grass here, better opportunities, but uh, whether they come back or not, uh, well, that all depends on whether this person finds greener grass on the other side. For those of you that are having someone return here, well, it looks like they did not find that greener grass. Let's, let's get a couple of the other cards here, Pisces. We have the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands here, in and out, right? In and out en energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Coming back around as well, coming back around. Leaving, but coming back around. That is the uh, Knight, Knight of Wands. Inconsistent here, energy. We have the Ten of Swords. So for many of you, I feel like you, you can expect here someone to come back, but then abruptly just leave again. Very inconsistent energy here. This Knight of uh, Wands is, can depend on the Knight of Wands. Doesn't like to be tied down, likes to move around. Likes to go and come back whenever they please. Six of Swords coming back around temporarily, but leaving Ten of Swords. Let's see. What is this Ten of Swords? The Ten of Swords can also represent uh, having a new found perspective here. Whatever was before no longer is. Painful truth as well. Having to realize something the hard way. Painful truth. 
also can signify backstabbing, betrayal. Ten of Swords. It's clarified as Ten of Swords. This is a Two of Swords. Two of Swords here. A decision. Decision that was made. That was made or is going to be made. This is what you can expect here in the future. Putting an ending here. An ending to a situation that has been pending. Two of Swords. Pisces. For many of you, I feel like there's going to be an ending here to a relationship, but uh, there's going to be someone else coming back here. This is the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles here talks about being single, independent. So many of you, Pisces, uh, there is the single energy walking away. Walking away from a situation here that is long overdue here with this Ten of Swords and these Two of Swords here. Finally having enough after being backstabbed. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. We have uh, judgment here. Oh yes, I feel that for many of you, uh, there's going to be some uh, truth here that is going to be coming out in the month of March. You're going to see the past very differently. The present is not going to be the same. You're going to have to deal with past actions, whether they are yours or someone else's. And having to confront here the truth, for many of you, uh, this is going to require for you to leave a situation and go and search for better days, better opportunities here with the Six of Swords. Also, the Six of Swords can signify someone coming back as well. The past coming back around to haunt you. Whether it is haunting you or this other person. We have this uh, Knight of Wands with this uh, Nine of Pentacles. Being single and independent. We have this Ten of Swords and Two of Swords. Putting an, putting an end to a situation here that uh, you were putting off. And finally, here in the month of March, it comes to an end. A painful end. Not easy here, Ten of Swords. For many of you, there is going to be here betrayal involved, feeling backstabbed when some, by someone else, and uh, having to face reality here, having to face something that perhaps you were turning a blind eye, blind eye on that you did not want to see. For many of you, that is why we have this Ace of Swords here, Brutal Honesty, Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles, having to work things out here in your head as well. Everything that's going on. We have this Four of Cups that just came out of nowhere here. Let's clarify that. The Four of Cups. Unfulfilled, unsatisfied, emotionally burnt out here. Also talks about a rejected offer. Let's clarify this Four of Cups here for you, Pisces. We have the World card. So again, you know, endings, new beginnings, putting an end to a situation here that uh, you have been unfulfilled and unhappy with. And uh, for many of you, going, going in search for happiness somewhere else and starting, starting something new. Again, there's a very strong energy of endings and new beginnings here for many of you. Uh, Pisces. Let's clarify this three, this three of pentacles. What is this three of pentacles here? For you, Pisces, and your thoughts, three of pentacles. We have the knight. We have the knight of cups. So many of you here thinking about working things out with someone. Coming back, an offer here, an offering a cup of love, offering a commitment, a relationship here with someone, having a plan with the with the uh, Ace of Swords and wanting to, uh, you know, work things out here with this person, wanting this person's cooperation, wanting to invest here in a long-term uh, commitment here with this person. So this is what I have for you, Pisces, for the month of March. If you like and resonated with this reading, please do like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Pisces.